Hi, hello. Welcome to this live decision making skill empowering session. So this session is a weekly session and every Sunday at 8 p.m. So if you are want to be a part of this joyful lifestyle hub and you want to learn this live decision making skill empowering sessions you want to attend this i'm given the link in the description you can click that link and you can join my private facebook group there i will teach people about how to make a strong decision and how you can be a successful person in your life and how you can be a more happy person in your personal life and your professional life and all areas of your life so let's come into that live decision making skill empowering session so today we are going to learn about the six personal money management decisions that you can take and if you are not that much of a money management person you should want to attend this session and you want to learn this the six personal money management decisions and you want to implement in your life then only you will get the more results and you will know about that is how much money is lossing that is without your consciousness like you are not that much limit your all the things and you are not conscious about how much money that you are spending every day so this is a very important decisions that you want to take in your life that is and how to manage the money in your life so let's jump into our live session. So decision making is a skill. You want to be a master of this decision making skill because every area of your life, you need to make some decision that is sometimes it is very important in your life. It will change your entire life journey. Sometimes it's a small decision, but it has a huge impact in your life. So every decision that is important in your life because that you want to make the decision without the influence of emotions and you need a special mindset that is you want to be a clear mindset time then only you can make the right decisions in your life so decision making is a skill you want to be master of that so today we are going to learn about the six personal money management decisions that you can make in your life so first I'm going to discuss with you that is what is my mission in my life that is through this joyful lifestyle system and the hub. So my mission is that I'm on a mission to help 100,000 people to become successful and help them to live a lifestyle of happiness. So you may be thinking about what is the connection between this successful and a happy living that is living a happy life. So if you want to be a successful person in your life, you need to focus on your goals, ambition, passion, or whatever things that you're most interested in your life. So that is your goal. So if you have a goal in your life, you need to make a planning to achieve that goal. So you need an idea. You want to develop that idea and you need plannings to implement that idea. And in between, you sometimes feel and face the failures in your life you want to be more courageous to face that fa failures in your life so then only you can reach the exact goal of your life that is your success so what is the end result of your success your end result of the success is happiness so if you are set a goal in your life you are reaching that goal means you feel very fulfilled and you feel complete and you will be very happy so my mission is that to help 100,000 people to become successful and help them to live a lifestyle of happiness. Every single goal that you want to succeed, you want to reach that as soon as possible. And I have a great mission and great vision in my life. So mission I already discussed with you and now I am going to discuss with you my vision. So my vision is to build a new moral value based world and also help people to analyze their own life problems and stop the sufferings of their life so a lot of changes happened and now also happening in every person's life a lot of technological implements a lot of technological changes digitalization all those things are happening now so my vision is that to build a new moral value based world. So what is losing in this world? The moral values. So nowadays the artificial intelligence and all those things are 
making an impact in people's life. So who will teach you the love, compassion and kindness or this moral values? You want to be a truthful person? So all these moral values are losing from the peoples. So my vision is to build a new moral value based world and also help people to analyze their own life problems and stop the sufferings of their life. So now we can go to that today's topic that is the six personal money management decisions. So before we are going to learn about that in deep, so you want to know about what is the personal money management. So I will give you just an idea about what is the personal money management. So personal money management is a simple thing, but it has a very great area of your life. The personal money management means the ability to manage your needs according to your income. So what is your income now? And you want to be manage the money means whatever needs that you have that you want to manage with that income. So your ability to manage your needs according to your income. It is not more than that of your income. The needs not be more than that of your income and the income will not be that much of low than that of your needs that is you should be in that perfect fit in that in your income so that is your personal money management so what will happen if you will increase your needs and your income will be less you feel very discomfortable in that your income because you can't make or you can't manage every needs of your life your needs is very less than that of your income what will happen you feel very satisfied because your income is much good that is it is enough for your needs to fulfill so the personal money management is that to ability to manage your needs according to your income and what is the use of this personal money management so the use of personal money management is that the three main Users are there. That means no debt life. If you have that personal money management skill, so no debt life is the first use of personal money management. And the second use is that the minimalistic life. And if you are really interested to buy a lot of things in your life and you want to be as like if a means say feeling a royal and but your income is not that much satisfactory. So if you are grabbing all those uh, things in your life and you are always purchasing more and everything, you can't live a minimalistic life. Whatever things that you are exactly needed, you should go for that only. And you feel that is, yes, I need this much. This much I can want and that is, that is good enough for me. So that is a minimalistic life. You should have a balance in your life so whatever things that you are using in your everyday life, that is a minimalistic life. And the third one that is money satisfaction. If you are not satisfied with your income or money, there is no personal money management you have. If you have the personal money management, you feel that is, I am very satisfied with my income and my money. So that is the use of personal money management. First one, that is no debt life. And second one, you should have a good minimalistic life. And third one, you have the money satisfaction. So these are the uses of personal money management. If you have the personal money management skills, then you feel everything satisfied according to the case of money. And what are the methods of personal money management? What are the methods that you can use to uh, manage your money as a person like that? So the first one is budgeting. You want to understand what is your immediate needs and what is I'm not needed. Because it is very clear that is what I'm needed and what I'm not needed. So that is the budgeting. And the second one that is limit spending. So if you don't have a spending limit, you will go for the complete amount of your income. So you should have a limit spending. So that is also a personal money management method. 
and the third one that is the bills and credits at time if you have the bills because every month at least you have the phone you want to be pay for your every month recharge like that of so every bills that and credits that you want to be pay at right time so that is the methods of personal money management you you should never feel debt or you feel never you never feel that is so something that i missed so if you are perfectly managing everything this methods will help you to make your money perfectly managed so the methods of personal money management first one that is a budgeting what you are needed and what you are not needed that you want to be understand and the second one that is the limit spending what is your spending limit that you want to understand that is a method and the third one that is bills and credits at time so that will feel that is you can feel that is everything is in the order and now we are going to learn about the six decisions that you can make that to manage money as a person that is the personal money management decisions that you can make so this six decisions that i am going to discuss with you i want to tell you one thing that is if your income is satisfying you that is according to the money and your needs are much higher than that of your income so you want to understand how i can manage my money so that you want to understand if your needs are less, less lower than that of your income because your income is much satisfactory you don't want to be feel that is no i don't have the money to purchase this and i want to go for this you never feel like that so what you need is that if your needs are higher and your income is low you can do that you can reduce your needs if your needs are very important and emergency so what you can do you can increase your income that is about you what you need so if your needs are very important and it is a very emergency thing so increase your income so it may be of your go for a further means job or something that is you can apply for a higher income jobs and otherwise you are feeling that no i don't have that much of needs in my life and i am very satisfied with my income so you can go for the life with like this so what you are needed you should want to understand yourself what you in what you want to increase is it you want to increase the income or otherwise you want to reduce your needs so that is inside of your hands then now you can, we can go for the six decisions that you can make in your life so the first decision that i want to tell you that is create a personal budget that is in a daily basis so what is the personal budget so today whatever things that you are purchased or you are brought for today that is 24 hours from the morning to night when you are going to sleep you want to be write it down these are my spendings i brought this one for this much rupees and this like that and how much income that you got it today that is maybe it's a monthly or maybe you are getting the money per day or weekly so it is according to you so if you are getting the money on the first day of the month you should write it down this much amount i got it first day of this month so create a personal budget daily basis that is a best personal money management decision that you can make at first so first you need to understand how much money that you are spending and how much you are getting so this comparison will give you a more idea about you want to increase your income or you want to reduce your needs so our basic plan is that one hand that you can increase your income the other hand you can decrease your needs so creating the personal budget for daily that will help you to understand whatever amounts that you are spending every day and what is your income so that is a first decision that you want to go for it and every day that you want to write it and you want to understand you want to analyze every day how much money that you are spending and how much income that you are getting and you can take a means a total of the end of that month 
you will get the clarity about how much you are spent and what are the emergencies uh, needs that you are spent and what is the unimportant things that you are uh, means spend money for that and you will get a more clarity about your next level of money making that is the basic advantage of this decision and the second decision that i want to give you that is no more purchase and understand the self needs if you want to purchase a shoe in this month you have 1000 rupees in your pocket you want to purchase that shoes and you done that purchase so your need is fulfilled but after 15 days you got a chance to buy something a great brand shoe and it's a less price so what you will do you will again go for that purchase or otherwise you will not so that also depends upon your income if you can purchase that your income is satisfactory so you can purchase that but i will tell you that is no more purchase that is understand the self needs if it is already done your purchase is already done and your need is fulfilled then don't go for another purchase if the primary purchase or the first purchase is got anything broken or something like that of damage happen then you can go for the purchase of next otherwise don't go for it so this is a very very important personal money management decision people can't stop their self by spending a lot of money for purchasing a lot of things that is not needed in their life and they are wasting their money for that they will not use you will not use two set of shoes at a time you can't use if you have that need that is a very emergency situation you can go for that if you don't have that that much of need then don't go for that so no more purchase means you want to understand what is the self needs it is not i am just given the example of shoes but it may be of any things your dress or uh, you are uh, buying some food from outside and every time that you are means again and again you are doing that that means you are not that much control in your um, money management skills and the third decision that i will tell you the true faces around you it's a very very important decision that you want to make today itself because you are surrounded with a lot of people your friends your family uh, relatives all the people somebody asks you any any area of your life i am not telling exactly what person is asking you you can just understand your life what it is going on so any person who are asking for some money help that is some monetary help that that person is needed and you are doing that help you are giving that much of money to that person you want to understand it is going to or it is going to the right purpose so why i am telling this you want to understand what is the true faces around you it is most common in workplace and it is most common in friendship area friendship not need by the money it is not based on the money it is based on the love and the support to each other it is not based on the money factors so find the true faces around you if a person is continuously you should listen it carefully it is not about to disturb your relationship it is want to understand your relationship with a person it may be of a friend or relative or anything else so if a person continuously taking advantage of the money from you you should want to be alerting that so that is the true faces around you make that decision if somebody is making the advantage or taking the advantage of money from me you want to understand it if you are a kind hearted person you are giving a lot of help monetary help to the people you can give that but you want to know that is who is receiving and what is the purpose of that they are doing with that money so that is the third decision you should understand yourself and make the decision today itself the true faces around you people who are taking the advantage of money you want to be alert in that and what is the fourth decision of a personal money management reduce debt and increase wealth 
if you want to purchase if you want to buy something that is very important and it is a very emergency need of your life it will give you a great depth in your life you want to think twice it's an emergency and how you can means deal with that high debt and how you can return that debt and all those things how you can reduce that debt so that you want to that you want to analyze yourself so our aim is not to increase the debt we want to reduce the debt and increase the wealth so if some debt initially it will give a very high debt in our life but later it will be a very wealthy decision so you can go for that but you want to understand it is giving me more than that of my income it is giving me a great debt in my life don't go for the decision our decision is that reduce the debt and increase the wealth we are focusing on wealth that is the main main use of this personal money management you want to increase your wealth you don't want to increase your debt so reduce debt and increase wealth more conscious in this decision from today itself you want to be reduce your debt and increase your wealth and fifth decision that i want to discuss with you that is the investments for the future so this is also a wealth increasing decision so if you are earning something you want to make an investment for your future be careful and don't go for a blind decision if you will pay 5000 means invest 5000 rupees today and it will not be the 10000 rupees tomorrow it will take time and how it will take time it is because of the investment that you are doing so do the investments and make the investments that is you are if you have the most confidence in that investment so that is also a personal money management so every month you are spending some money for your investments in for your future be careful make that investment but it should it should give the complete future wealth in your life so the investments for future is very important decision but you want to be careful in that and the sixth one the sixth decision that you want to make in your life to be a personal money management person do not waste single rupee no free tips if you brought something from a person it may be of a service it may be of a means some uh, means product or something like that do not give money tips to that person if you are happy with that service if you are happy with that product keep the relationship good with that person or with that company with that any of that area do not give the money as a tip for happiness if you will keep the good relationship with the person without based on the money that will long for a life means if you are giving some money for that help or service or something product or something the next time you are purchasing again the same thing or you are receiving the service of that things the person will in their mind they think that you they will get some benefits like of tips so money tips will not make you a great person or a means a happy person or a successful person so the personal money management you need to make this decision that is do not waste single rupees that is no free tips in the case of money on it if you are a part of this joyful lifestyle hub i will tell you that is you have purchased a product from my side i will tell you that is if you are like this product and you are learning a lot of things and you are giving a lot of gifts like money or something like that of things i will not receive and i will not encourage that because it is not about purchasing something and giving money as a tip it is not a great thing in your life you should keep that relationship good and healthy and do not give a single rupee as a tip for your happiness or your service or some
products that you have purchased. So these are the six very important money management decisions a person can make in their life. It will give you a lot of results, like a very great changes will happen in your life if you will follow the six steps or the follow the six decisions and you will make it as you are part of your life. So just we will recap what we have learned today. That is, what is personal money management? It's the ability to manage your needs according to your income. So you should find out if you want to increase your needs or you want to increase your income. That means if your needs are very important and you want to achieve that needs, you want to increase your income. And if you are living like I have the sufficient amount of income and my needs are not that much higher, then you can go for that. So the personal money management means the ability to manage your needs according to your income. And what is the use of personal money management? The first one is not debt life. And second one, very minimalistic life. And third one, money satisfaction. And what are the methods of personal money management? First one, that is budgeting. Second one, that is limit spending. And third one, that is bills and credits at time. So these are the methods of personal money management. And what are the six decisions? That is personal money management decisions a person can make in their life to become a great money managing person and to increase your wealth. The first decision, create a personal budget in a daily basis. Whatever things that you are spending and what amount you are, that you are getting as an income. And second decision is that no more purchase. Understand what is the self needs exactly. And the third decision is that the true faces around you. If somebody is taking the advantage of your money, you should want to be alert in that. And fourth one that is reduce the debt and increase the wealth. So this is a very important decision that you, a person can make. And the fifth decision is that investments for the future. Be careful and invest the right amount for your future. Become wealthy. And the sixth one that is do not waste a single rupee. No free tips. If you, if you want to be happy with a person with their services or products or something, keep the relationship healthy and happy. Do not give money as a reward for that services or products. So these are the basic and very important personal money management decision. These six decisions that you can implement today itself. I hope you got a lot of ideas how you can spend single rupees wisely. It is not just spending. It's about you should spend it wisely. And if you want to learn more about and you want to be a part of this Joyful Lifestyle Hub, you can click the link in the description and you can join our private Facebook group. There I will give you more the details and in the every session I will give a Q&A time. So if you are being the part of my Joyful Lifestyle Hub community, you will get the chance to ask any questions related to your life that you are facing any problems in your life in the money factors or any area of your life. So I will give you what are the decisions that you can make in that and how much clarity that you are needed in that area. So that I will give you in detail in my private Facebook group and you can be a part of that. So implement these six decisions, the personal money management decisions today itself. So follow these six decisions at the midst in the whole life that will give you more results and you will become a more successful and happy person in your life. So we can meet the next session, the next live session. Till then, thank you and be connected with Joyful Lifestyle Hub.